Hello everyone, this is Hiromania. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past for the 3DS. Previously, the party finished up the Grody Grotto and began exploring the Green Thumb Gardens area in the present. They found a grand new garden. The party find a beautiful herb garden in the eastern part of the new island. Could there be some connection between this place and Green Thumb Gardens? That place is called Wilted Heart. Green Thumb Gardens itself has fallen into ruin. Now we need to go back and investigate Wilted Heart. I never imagined things could change so drastically. I certainly never thought we'd find a whole new town. And with such a wonderful herb garden, too. I wonder what the story behind that is. The eastern part of the island was completely empty when we were here before. Nothing to stop somebody settling down and starting a new life. Someone like Caraway, maybe. So that's why the herby smell was coming from a different direction. That new town's full of herbs, too. For a minute there, I thought my nose had gone skew-whiff. Now to check out Wilted Heart. Look, Davalos, this whole town's a herb garden. No wonder Green Thumb Gardens fell apart. It probably couldn't compete with this place. I think I might try growing some herbs myself, you know. If I take care of the watering and the pruning, will you do all the digging around the will you do all the digging around in the dirt for me, Davalos? Oh, my poor nose. This place is far too herby. Wilted Heart Herb Garden. Wilted Heart Herb Gardens. Hello. Howdy, and welcome to the Herb Gardens of Wilted Heart. We put our heart and soul into growing these here herbs. We sure hope y'all like them. All right. Anyone or anything in here? There's a book entitled The Old Man Who Brought Calamity in His Wake. Davlos picks it up and has a closer look. When he and his young companion arrived at the town, the old man told the same tale of the terrible cursed rain that had fallen on his home. But the locals did not believe him and called him a crusty old doomsayer before chasing him out of town with sticks and stones. Then, sure enough, the sky is filled with purple clouds, a dark rain began to fall, and all light and laughter vanished from that place forever. Three gold. Amazing. Hello, sir. I work like a dog from morning till night, and let me tell y'all, my joints ache something fierce. I sure wish I had the boss's job. All he does is chase the maids around all the dang day long. Hello. Used to be a town around these parts, famed the world over for its herbs. A whole dang town. Ain't nothing but ruins now. Sure would be nice if this place grew into a big old town someday. Well, maybe someday. Hello, cat. Wow. There's a book entitled Cuthbert, A Hero for Our Times, Volume 3. Davlos takes it from the shelf and reads an excerpt. After passing through the castle gates, Cuthbert marched straight into the throne room. The king looked his visitor up and down and asked him to state his business. My name's Cuthbert, said Cuthbert. I'm the hero who's going to save the world. To be continued. <coughs> Such lofty goals, Cuthbert.
something strange done happened in these parts long ago, way back before I was born. There was this grey rain sea, and it done turned people and animals into solid blocks of stone. The thing I can't help wondering is what happened to their clothes. Did they get turned to stone too? It sounds like the grey rain is nothing more than an ancient legend nowadays. It's a dagnam disgrace, that's what it is. The master of the house is swarping around, chasing after the maid from morning till night. I don't rightly know who he takes after. Truly, I don't. The mayor spends all his time chasing after maids, and the locals just let it happen. They should all be ashamed of themselves. Wow, that's the freshest, herbiest smell I've ever smelt. I'm so glad I came all that way to get here. A few days rolling around in the herb beds here, and rubbing them all over myself, and my sweaty stink will be gone for good. I'll be fighting the ladies off with a stick. Hehe. <laughs> well, yes, these herbs are very fragrant. But if he's trying to get rid of his body odor, why doesn't he just take a bath? They say the fellow who done set up these here herb gardens was a mighty hard worker. I only wish he was still around. My no-good two-bit husband sure could learn a thing or two from a man like that. The best herbal teas in all creation are made with herbs grown right here in wilted heart. Yes, siree. Folks come from all over the world to get a taste. Tom was, there was another town off to the west there, famous for herb growing, just like this one. But things didn't go so well for folks over that way. The town kinda died. Now it ain't nothing but ruins. People around here don't even know the name Green Thumb Gardens anymore. It must have gone to the dogs a long, long time ago. Herf, herf, we've been there. It was called Green Thumb Gardens. Ain't it crazy that a man can build a house like that on the profits of nothing but herbs? Fella who founded this place must have been smarter than a hooty owl. They say the founder of this here herb garden was a bachelor all his life. He was so dedicated to his work, he didn't have time for womanizing and the like. An item shop. Plenty of items. Oh, hello. I am one of the sisters of Regret Vianne Convent up on the hill. Regret Nothing Convent. If you would like to pay us a visit, simply follow this path all the way to the top. So the path at the back of the village leads up to a, leads up to a convent, eh? Fancy paying it a visit, Davalos? What's a convent, Davalos? Is it anything like a crumpet? <laughs> I don't think so, Ruff. Now let's check the big house. Dang, I'm beat. The boss has been chasing me around all morning. My dainty little eggs can't take it no more. Dang, I was so close. Six short. The boss said I'd get a prize if I made it around the table 300 times without getting caught, and I only needed six more laps. Oh, heck. There's a book entitled, Keeping It in the Family, Behind the Closed Doors of the Bulgio Dynasty. Davalos opens it, eager to learn more. If there's one thing all members of the Bulgio clan have had in common across the generations, it's arrogance, greed, and decadence. Okay, that's three things. The only good thing anyone has ever been able to say about this family of tin pot tyrants is that when they lend money, they tend to forget all about it. Now, 
nothing in that pot. The herb gardens are doing real good, in spite of the, in spite of the boss's bone idol. I only hope we don't get a big old surge of visitors any time soon. We'd be in hot water if that done happened. A couple of chests. One with slime earrings. Attack and style go up. There you go, Davalos. And this chest contains 250 gold. Second floor. Hello. Phew. I'm near about past going. The boss done told me something interesting while he was chasing me around, though. Something about a stone tablet he found. Now if I could just catch my breath and remember where he said he put it. A stone tablet, huh? A stone tablet? That's more like it. Come on, Davalos. Let's get looking. Well, well, a garter. Oh, Maribel. I have something for you. A garter. Boosts defense and style. I sure am a whole lot fitter since the boss started chasing me around. I guess that's one way to look at it. Well, well, here's that fragment. A yellow fragment. Number five, I think. Yellow Fragment 5. An empty chest. 5 gold. Anything up this staircase? A pleasant overlook. But not much else. Ah, here's that boss. Don't mind him, it's just the boss. He likes to dress up like a street tough and chase the maids around. Did you hear that, Davalos? I've heard of skirt chasers before, but this is ridiculous. Oh, hee <laughs> hee! Come here, ha ha ha! And now, she's chasing him. Now for Regret Vianne Convent. This way to Regret Vianne Convent. Mountain path near Wilted Heart. This path doesn't seem too steep. What lovely weather! Don't you think this would be a perfect spot for a picnic, Davalos? It's so warm out here. I'm starting to feel a bit sleepy. Ah, here's a cabin. It has seen better days. Erg! <coughs> Why is it so dusty in here? <coughs> Erg! 
It's getting in my eyes. <coughs> A barrel with nothing. Three pots. One with a mini metal. We are up to fifteen. Nice little mountain path. No enemies. Here's a chest. With 100 gold. A cave. Well, well, horse manure. And a pointy hat. A chest up here, but the chest is locked tight. We'll have to remember that. And it looks like we've arrived at a Gretrian convent. Ugh, convents aren't my kind of thing at all. You're not wrong there. They're so peaceful and humble and dignified pretty much everything you're not. Kiefer. This convent's like a church, but bigger. Maybe it's all the other church's mum. Only nuns are allowed to live in convents, right? So it's all girls all the time. Gulp. I'm starting to feel a bit nervous. Welcome to Regretrian Convent, where history, tradition, self-sufficiency, and independence are our watchwords. Living self-sufficiently is far from easy. I often think we should sell herbs, like the people down in the valley, in order to make ends meet. Our lives here are very monotonous. Very little changes from day to day. I do sometimes wish I could embark on a journey such as yours. Hello. Moo. Moo! Did you hear that, Davalos? Did you hear that, Davalos? Was my cow impression spot on, or what? Maybe an octave too high. Don't ask me why these graves were dug on the edge of the cliff. They were here long before I arrived. My best guess is that being buried here was some form of punishment. A couple of graves, huh? Davalos examines the grave. But most of the writing is too faded to make out. Only the name is legible. It says, Caraway. Caraway, huh? But this is a convent, isn't it? Why would Caraway be buried here? How about this one? It says, Lavender. Lavender was going to get married to Dill, wasn't she? Then why would she be buried next to Careway? Perhaps it isn't them. It could just be two people with the same names. I know that name. 
Our heroes examine the gravestones outside Rukratrian Convent and find some very familiar names engraved on them. Very strange indeed. And in sight of Wilted Heart. Hello. We don't get many visitors up here, you know. Hilltop convents aren't exactly popular with tourists, after all. Still, now that you're here, feel free to look around. Not that there's an awful lot to see. Anything at these graves? Hello. I guess we'll check the well first. Hmm. Hmm. Phew. Drawing water from the well is hard work. I sometimes wish there was a big, strong man around to help. But that would contravene the Sisterhood's policy of doing things for ourselves. It is not like you to slam Maribel, Kiefer. Now to check the main building. Hello. She will save the game. Good. Oh, I'm ever so hungry. Hungry, huh? I do sometimes wish I could make a soup with a little meat in it. But that is a luxury we simply cannot afford. But that is a luxury we simply cannot afford up here, unless meat starts to fall from the skies, of course. These people don't even have meat in their soup. If I ever had to live here, I'd starve to death in three days flat. I am originally taking rather a. I'm originally from a rather wealthy family. It was they who insisted that I come here. There was a certain incident, and they thought it would be for the best, you see. If I didn't appreciate my life of luxury back then, I certainly do now. A certain incident? Ha! Huh. I bet she was a thorn in her parents' side from the day she was born. Self-sufficiency is all very well and good, but surely it has its limits. If you ask me, the time has come to consider selling some of the words we produce here to outsiders. I am aware that it goes against our traditions, but this is a matter of survival. I don't see that we have much choice. <coughs> Hello. There are events in the history of our convent that were never recorded in the history books. I only wish I only wish I could have been present myself and to have witnessed all as, all as it truly occurred. There's a book entitled Cuthbert, A Hero for Our Times, Volume 4. Davalos takes it from the bookshelf and reads an excerpt. The king was rather surprised at the young man's bold statement. Is that so, said the king, so you're going to save us all, eh? In response, Cuthbert merely simpered heroically. The king went on, well, it just so happens that I could use a hero. My dearest daughter's just been kidnapped by monsters, you see. Cuthbert knew a chance to flesh out his heroic credentials when he saw one, and without a moment's hesitation said, leave it to me. To be continued. <clears throat> so, Cuthbert has his quest. There's a book entitled, Feed Me Weeds, delicious recipes that make the most of your gardens least wanted. Davalos looks at some of the recipes. If the sisters are resorting to food like this, they must be struggling terribly. There's a book entitled, Darkness Descends. Davalos reads an excerpt. 
I am writing this so that others might know of the horror I have witnessed. I pray that it will never happen again, and that no one else will suffer as I have. I saw evil appear and drain the light from the sky. The mountains shook, the ground beneath me cracked, and the horizon was blotted out as a terrible darkness descended. Our land has been torn from the rest of the world and sealed away in a realm of darkness. All too familiar a tale. Well, well, a fur hood. Here you go, Ruff. Huh? An upgrade for Kiefer. A seed of resilience. Hello. You're the query travelers. Would you care to rest for the night and share a warm meal with us? Well, certainly. Very well. May the Almighty grant you a restful sleep. Very kind of you, ma'am. Good morning. I pray that your day will be full of blessings from the ever-benevolent Almighty. Thank you. Now with that, it is time to go. Back to the Shrine of Mysteries. Got a couple of green. We've got a couple of fragments to slot. A yellow fragment from Wilted Heart, and a green fragment from the ruins of Green Thumb Gardens. Let's see one yellow fragment. I do believe it goes in here in the lower left. Then the green pillars. No! I don't want to go here yet. No! Hmm, there don't seem to be any big towns around these parts. The sky is dark, but it's a different kind of darkness. I think it might just be nighttime. Can you hear that noise? It sounds like music. Music, huh? Now, as for those fragments... Yellow fragment. The fifth, from the third level of that house in Wilted Heart. Now the green fragments. The ninth fragment from the ruins of Green Thumb Gardens in the present day. Well, hello guys. We have Headhunters and a baby goyle.
So long, enemies. And we have found the Roma encampment. I've never seen a campsite like this before. What a strange little village. Does everyone here live in a tent? What's that funny music? I, I can't stop moving. Oh no, the rhythm's got me. Ruff is enthralled by the rhythm. A curious encampment. The party explore the latest land they've ended up in and come across a small encampment. Mysterious music can be heard coming from within one of the tents. Hello? Shh! Be quiet, please. Do not talk to me now. Perhaps you should not talk at all, in fact. No one can know that I am here. Sweet Lala, her dancing steals my heart. Music sounds like it's coming from inside this tent. I wonder what's going on in there. What's he looking at, Davalos? Can I take a quick peek, too? Humph! He'd better not be ogling this poor Lala, else he'll have me to answer to. Hello? Hold up. You ain't part of the clan, are you? Well, well. I didn't think Gajos could ca... I didn't think Gajos could hack it round these parts. What's that you say? What's a, what's a Gajo? Why, it's you, of course. It's what we Romers call people from outside the clan. Now, we usually offer a warm welcome to you lot. But I'm afraid we're in the middle of an important ritual right now. You'll have to wait till it's over before we, before we can all say hello. I wonder what this important ritual is all about. I bet you're dying to find out too, aren't you, Davalos? Um, sure. Heh, of course you are. You can never stop yourself from sticking your big nose where it's not wanted. The Romers, is it? I don't think I've ever heard of them before. They seem like an interesting lot. No. Humph, a likely story. I can tell when you're lying, you know. I can read you like the back of my hand. Pots over here. Thirteen gold. A couple of chests. Well, well, another mini medal. We're up to sixteen. Twenty gold. It's an instrument with lots of little bells attached. It's a large drum. It's a tambourine. Since time immemorial, the Almighty has been sealed away. Restoring him to his rightful place is the duty of we roamers. And when the time comes to restore him, it shall be the duty of the clan's dancer to do so. She who among us is most blessed with the power of the Earth Spirit. Only rarely are those born to us who are so blessed, but one or two each generation at most. So the Almighty's restoration is the Stancer's duty, is it? That's a lot of pressure for one person. Restoring the Almighty, being blessed by the Earth Spirit, this is some serious stuff. Still, I suppose it's good to know that you've got some purpose in your life, that there's something important that only you can do. Somewhere in this world, an altar exists. That is the place wherein the Almighty is sealed. 
We roamers have searched many centuries for this altar. Now, finally, we approach the location described in the legends. Once we cross these mountains, we will arrive at last. Eh? What's on the other... What's on the other side of the mountains? Some kind of almighty altar? And who are the roamers again? Well, that's certainly quite the story. Forgive me if I don't entirely believe him. The Almighty is sealed in an altar, and they know where it is. We might have arrived just in time to witness a miracle, Davalos. Come on, let's help these people bring him back to life. It's some kind of stringed instrument. It's probably better not to touch it. Well, well, a fragment. The ritual is taking longer than usual. Well, it has been six years since the last one. There are many matters to discuss. I can only hope there is not too much pressure put upon young Lala. She is only seventeen. Can the clan's destiny really be placed in her hands? They say the Earth Spirit is but one of four great spirits. All four came into the world when the Almighty was sealed away long, long ago. And it seems the power of the Earth Spirit lives on in young Lala. That is the meaning of the mark she carries. Her fate, it is of unspeakable importance. It cannot be easy. Still, we roamers are all very, very proud of her. So the mark Lala carries means she's inherited the power of the Earth Spirit, does it? I wonder if that mark on your arm is the same kind of thing. Maybe you've been blessed by a higher power too, Davalos. A fate of unspeakable importance. Thank goodness I wasn't born with, with one of these silly marks. The four great spirits. I wonder what they taste like. <laughs> zzz, zzz. A blue fragment. Blue fragment six, I think. Yes, indeed. Found at the Romer camp. Hey there, horses. Hey! Nay! Nay! Good food and drink have grown scarce since the darkness gripped the land. But still, we never run short of our sacred drink the water of life we call the Spirit of the Dance. As long as we have the Spirit, and the dances and songs passed down by our forefathers, we roamers shall never grow weak. That Spirit stuff sounds really tasty, but I doubt I could be happy if there's no good food to be had. Another tent? There is some handwritten sheet music on the table. Some words have also been scrawled in the margin. To Lala, with all my love. Uh, oh, ahem. I did no bad thing, I promise. I never touched Florence Torben without permission. I know its importance. I am truly blessed that he has agreed to instruct me in its playing. My only fear is that Florn will have no time for my lessons once he is married to Lala. What a funny-looking instrument. What did he call it again? A torban? That torban thing looks like it's had plenty of use. Florn must be quite the player. Can I have a go on at Davalos? I'm good at strumming.
So those are called turbans. Well, well, it is a long time since any Gahos visited us. Strange that you choose tonight of all nights. Tonight, you see, we decide who will be the clan's next dancer. Lala will be chosen, of course. There is no doubt. Rombaro knows her talent. The blood of the Earth Spirit flows through her veins. How I envy her. Well, so they've got dancing girls around here, do they? I hope we get to see them in action before we leave. Honestly, Kiefer, you're a disgrace. You're supposed to be the Prince of Estard. What's going to happen to the kingdom if you've got girls on the brain all the time? What are you talking about? Even if I did have girls on the brain all the time, which I don't, it'd have nothing to do with the future of Estard. If I've told my old man once, I've told him a thousand times, I'm never sitting on that throne. A chest here. A leather hat. Such amazing stuff. Hello again. The ritual's not over yet, I'm afraid. You're going to have to... Hmm? Ah, actually, it looks like the ritual's about to end. If you wouldn't mind taking a step back... There, the ritual is complete. Gather round, roamers. Today is an auspicious day. A new dancer has been chosen. Come, step forward, Lala. My fellow roamers, Lala is our new dancer. It is she who will lead us into the brighter tomorrow. Now come, Florin. You too must take your place beside Lala. Florin, you have shown that you play with purity and strike notes that ring clear and true. Together with Lala, you must lead we roamers toward our destiny. I will do my best, Madam Rosa. Romers, it is time to celebrate. Celebrate until the morning comes. Drink, dance, and be merry. The future is bright. Sorry to keep you waiting so long. I can introduce you to m I can introduce you to Rombaro and Madame Rosa now. If you'd like to follow me. Rombaro, Madame Rosa, I've brought some Gahos to see you. They arrived here, right in the middle of the ritual. What's that, Baldo? We have visitors. What a pleasant surprise! It is rare to see Gahos roaming the mountain these days. Roaming the mountains these days. How many years has it been, Rombaro? How long now since we last met with travelers on the road? Come, Rosa, 
do not jump to conclusions so readily. How can you be certain that these Gajos are mere travelers? Perhaps they are monsters disguised in human form. M monsters Rombaro? R really? Tell me, Gajos, do you have any evidence, any proof that you are not in fact monsters? Um, I guess not. No evidence, eh? That is not the sort of honesty I would expect from a monster in disguise. Hmm, I wonder what to make of this. Come, Rombaro, that is enough. These travelers are surely too tired for your silly games. Really? How dull. Young Gajos, I must apologize for Rombaro's behavior. Sadly, he is fond of tomfoolery. Tomfoolery? Is he here? Plainly, you are not monsters. Now, I would like to offer you our clan's warmest greetings and the blessings of the roamers. We cannot perhaps give you the best of our hospitality here in the mountains, but I hope you enjoy your time with us nonetheless. If anything causes you trouble, be sure to inform Rombaro or myself right away. Very well, Madame Rosa. What kind of a welcome was that supposed to be? That old man was so rude. How could anyone mistake a pretty thing like me for a, hor for a horrible slobbering monster? Lala certainly, er, pretty, isn't she? Uh-oh. Herf, herf, that man was really funny. For a minute there, I thought he really believed that I was some kind of monster. Quiet, please. Ritual in progress. It seems the party have arrived right in the middle of a ritual. And they're told that it won't be finished for a while. Our intrepid heroes decide to talk with some of the locals while they wait. A divine dancer. The purpose of the the purpose of the ritual is to select the clan's next dancer. And it seems that the current candidate is the roamer most blessed by a being known as the Earth Spirit. In search of the altar. Our heroes learn that the roamers have spent centuries searching for something called the Altar of the Almighty. And they've only gone and found it. It's on the other side of the mountains nearby. The roamers raison d'etre. The Almighty has been sealed away, and bringing about his restoration is the Romer's destiny. The Dancer's role in this destiny is central, and so the one blessed by the Earth Spirit seems a highly credible candidate. Marked for Greatness The Earth Spirit is one of the four great spirits unleashed when the Almighty was sealed away. It seems that a young woman named Lala bears a mark that shows she has been blessed by the Earth Spirit. The ritual's results revealed. After the party have passed the time by speaking to a few roamers, it is announced that the ritual is complete at last. And Lala has been confirmed as the clan's next dancer. After being introduced to Lala and a few other roamers, the party are invited to spend the night in a spare tent. It seems these noble nomads pride themselves on their hospitality. Hehe, <laughs> sorry for the unusual welcome. But listen, we're having a really big knees up tonight, and you're more than welcome to join in. Rombaro is perhaps a little too fond of tomfoolery, but we roamers would be lost without his strength and guidance. If anything causes you trouble, be sure to inform Rombaro or myself right away. Five gold. A seed of resilience.
a couple of locked chests. Heh <laughs> forgive me, young Gahos, but life is short, and every moment must be enjoyed. But there is more to me than childish humor. But there is more to me than childish humor. Who knows, I might even be of assistance to you. Indeed, it is very late, and yet you come to seek my services. Are you in some kind of difficulty, young Gahos? Time to save. Bow down before heaven and earth, and confess all that you have done. And next time, we'll check out the Romer camp again. This is Hey Rotmania. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.